Otters are among the most fascinating semi-aquatic mammals on this planet, and today they can be found in almost every corner of the globe. Otters can be found in both freshwater and marine environments, and each species is adapted to a different ecosystem and a different way of life. Some species specialise in feeding on crustaceans, and others focus on fast-moving fish. Because there are quite a few otter species alive today, they do come in many different shapes and sizes. In today's video I will only be focusing on the largest of the otters, as I will be going through 8 of the largest otters in the world. When it comes to measuring how large an animal is, there's quite a few ways you can go about it. You can measure the length, height and width, but this can sometimes be misleading. Some otter species are very long and thin, whereas others are more dense and short. That's why in today's video I will be judging the otters on their maximum weight, and this list would look very different if I was judging them on their length. But without further ado, for our first species we will be heading to the Indian subcontinent, as we have the smooth-coated otter. This species is found across most of the Indian subcontinent, and also large parts of Southeast Asia. As you might be able to guess by this otter's name, it has a very smooth and short coat, and this distinguishes it from other otters in its habitat. The smooth-coated otter is a social otter and they are usually found in groups of up to 11 individuals. They often rest and establish their dens along sandy riverbanks, and in the wild they have quite a varied diet. They tend to search for food close to the riverbanks, and for the most part they target fish. They are known to feed on different species of gourami and catfish, but during the rice planting season they will also target rats, snakes and amphibians. Unfortunately, this otter's numbers have been decreasing over the past few decades, and their main threats come in the form of habitat loss, poaching, and pollution. Irresponsible farming leads to pesticides entering rivers, and this completely kills off fish and amphibian populations. Hopefully more can be done to help these otters in the future as they are one of the largest species, as they reach a maximum length of around 1.3 meters and have a maximum weight of around 11 kilograms. This size makes them one of the larger otters in Asia, but they're still only fit for number 8 on this list. But for our next species, we will be heading over to North America, as we have the North American River Otter. Now this species is only found on the North American continent, and is mostly found in waterways near the coast. This species is equally versatile in the water and on land, and they tend to burrow close to the water's edge. North American river otters have long whiskers that help them to detect their prey in dark waters, and of course their webbed feet and streamlined body means that they're very impressive swimmers. These otters tend to live alone or in small social groups, and in these groups communication is a very noisy affair. They're known for making a whole host of different sounds, and they're renowned for their sense of play. The North American river otter mostly feeds on fish, amphibians and crustaceans, but they are known to target prey as large as snapping turtles. This very meaty diet helps them reach a very impressive size, as they can reach a maximum length of around 1.5 meters, and can weigh in at 15 kilograms. This size allows them to be one of the most impressive freshwater predators in North America, and they slot in at number 7. But for our next species we will be heading south to Central and South America, as we have the Neotropical Otter. This species is found in a variety of riverine habitats, from clear fast-flowing rivers and streams, to large wetlands such as the Pantanal. As it has such a large range it has quite a few subspecies, and is very similar in size and appearance to the North American River Otter. Like with most otters, this species is sexually dimorphic, and the males are around 25% larger than the females. Their diet completely varies depending on where they're found across their range, but around 67% of their diet is made up of fish and crustaceans. The rest of their diet is made up of things such as birds, large insects and fruits, and they're known for being opportunistic feeders. The Neotropical Otter is a relatively solitary animal, and does a lot of its communication through scent marking. This is a very effective way of communicating when you have such a large range, and it allows them to establish territories and find mates. As well as being a very interesting otter, this is also a relatively large one, as they have the same maximum length as the North American River Otter at around 1.5 meters, but they can get slightly heavier with a maximum weight of around 16 kilograms. This size means that they're safe from some of the other South American predators, and puts them at number 6 on this list. Before our next species, we will be heading over to Eurasia, as we have the Eurasian Otter. The Eurasian Otter is one of the most widely distributed otters in the world, and can be found in the waterways and along the coasts of Europe, Asia and Northern Africa. This otter is a strongly territorial species, and likes to hunt in freshwater, brackish water and marine environments. 
This species does look very similar to the North American river otter, but they tend to have shorter necks and longer tails. The majority of this otter's diet is once again made up of fish, but in some cases they will target prey as large as European beavers. As I've already covered, this otter is quite territorial, and their territories can be as long as 40 kilometers. The length of their territory depends on the density of food available and the width of the water source, but these otters are known to be very aggressive when they meet each other. If you were to witness two of these otters fighting, you would certainly remember it, as once again their maximum length is around 1.5 meters, but in some rare occasions they can reach a whopping 17 kilograms in weight. This means that they are not only one of the most widely distributed otters in the world, but they are also one of the largest, but they're still only fit for number 5 on this list. Before our next species, we will be heading to Sub-Saharan Africa, as we have the African Clawless Otter. This otter sometimes goes by the name of Cape Clawless Otter or Groot Otter, and tends to inhabit permanent water bodies in savannah and lowland forest areas. It's characterized by its partly webbed and clawless feet, and they're known for having a relatively large skull and broad head. These otters are once again mostly solitary animals, but some are found in family groups of up to five individuals. Once again, they feed on a wide variety of fish and crustaceans, but as they're found in Africa, they also need to look out for a lot of predators. As they are quite agile and tricky in the water, they can avoid most threats, but they are sometimes picked off by pythons, crocodiles, and African fish eagles. To survive in a competitive African ecosystem, you need to be quite large and quite hardy, and this otter definitely is, as it has a maximum length of around 1.6 meters, and a max weight of around 21 kilograms. This truly is a very impressive size for an otter, but it's only fit for number 4 as it isn't even the largest otter in Africa. For our next species, we will be heading to Central Africa, as we have the Congo Clawless Otter. This otter is very similar in size and appearance to the African Clawless Otter, and it was even once thought to be a subspecies of this otter. Although it's called the Congo Clawless Otter, it is found in quite a few other African countries, and it can also be found in quite a few different habitats. They tend to prefer tropical moist lowland forests, but they also enjoy hunting in brackish mangrove forests. Not much is known about this species as they're usually found in areas with very small human populations, and they're also known for being relatively timid. Although this species will feed on fish, they also like to feed on small land vertebrates, frogs and eggs, and this diet helps them reach a pretty impressive size. They have the same maximum length as the African clawless otter at around 1.6 meters, but they can get slightly heavier with a maximum weight of around 25 kilograms. This size means that they're the largest otter in Africa, but they're still only fit for number 3 on this list. Before our next species, we will be heading back over to South America, as our next species is the giant otter. Now some of you may be surprised that this otter is only number 2 on this list, and that's because most people will list the giant otter as the largest otter in the world. It is the largest by length, height and width, but it does not have the largest maximum weight. The giant otter is arguably the most interesting and unique otter species in the world, and they really are a sight to behold. Unlike some of the other otter species on this list, they are generally social creatures, and they are typically found in groups of 3 to 8 members. Although they are generally peaceful, they can also be quite territorial, and certain family groups will fight amongst each other. The giant otter is mostly active during the daylight hours, and they are known for being the noisiest otter species in the world. They have distinct vocalizations. <laughs> and this form of communication helps them to take down very impressive prey. They are known to take down many of the large fish in South America, but they will also sometimes target turtles, snakes, and caiman. Unfortunately today, they are currently listed as endangered, as they're facing many threats in the form of poaching, habitat loss, and pollution. Thanks to poaching, they don't get anywhere near as large as they used to, as historically they used to reach lengths of around 2.4 meters, but today they max out at around 1.8. Despite this, they are still very bulky creatures, and they have a maximum weight of around 34 kilograms. So even though they're not the largest otters in the world, they are one of the most impressive hunters, and they come in at number 2 on this list. Before our final species, we will be heading to the coasts of the Northern Pacific, as we have the sea otter. Now as you might be able to guess by this otter's name, it is found in marine environments, and they are among the smallest of the marine mammals. Despite this, they are the heaviest members of the weasel family, and this is partly due down to their thick coat of fur. They have the densest fur in the animal kingdom, and this allows them to trap air and keep warm in cold waters. 
Although the sea otter can walk on land, it's capable of living exclusively in the ocean, but they're usually not found very far from the coasts. Famously, these otters will sometimes hold on to each other while floating, and this is so that they don't drift away while they're having a nap. Even though these otters are very cute, they are also very effective predators, and they are a keystone species. They help to protect kelp forest ecosystems, and they do this by feeding on sea urchins. Not all marine predators can tackle these sea urchins, and the sea urchins feed on the kelp. If the sea urchin numbers are not kept under control, they can destroy kelp forests, and that's why the sea otters are so important to these ecosystems. Sea otters tend to prefer crustaceans and mollusks, and when breaking the shells of these creatures, they are known to use tools. This allows them to get to the good parts inside, and once again, this meaty diet helps them reach a pretty impressive size. They are nowhere near the longest species with a maximum length of around 1.5 meters, but they make up for it in weight as they have a maximum weight of around 45 kilograms. So even though the sea otter may not look very large, it is very heavy, and it is number one on this list. If you think you know of any other otters that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.